Hi there, my name is Kimberly Wilson. I'm the host of the Tranquility Du Jour blog and podcast, and also the designer of the Tranquility Lifestyle line. And I wanted to show you what I'm packing to head off to lead a week-long retreat in Costa Rica. Okay, so this just gives an idea of I am leaving cold, cold weather and then heading into hopefully 80 degree weather. And so it's tough, right? Like what do you wear on the plane? Whenever you're leaving in cold, you're going to get off the plane and it's going to be quite warm. And what do you pack? So I can get so much into a tiny suitcase with tranquility. So I'm going to show you the different pieces from two dresses to six tops to six pairs of pants and uh, a couple of throws, just like additional layering pieces, such as what I'm wearing right now, which is the duster. And then what I have under it is a two-in-one top that I basically live in and my capri leggings. So this is kind of my uniform, and then I just add different things to dress it up or down. All right, so let's start with kind of the basics, right? So I'll have two nice scarves on the plane with me that'll be in my carry-on, and this is just a nice leopard one. And then this one is our Infinity Cal, which is also <laughs> yummy. It's made of organic cotton and uh, bamboo, and it's a fleece. So really, really yummy. And sometimes too, I'll just open it up and use it as a lap blanket on the plane, and then of course beyond. All right, so those are just additional pieces to have with you so that you feel kind of warm and cozy. Of course, when you're packing for warmer weather, you need a sun hat and ideally one that is collapsible. So this one I think I picked up at Target a few years ago, but you can see it goes quite flat. Also a reusable tote because this one is wonderful for grabbing some groceries. Whenever I go to Paris, I'll take this with me and then if I go to a market, then I've got a bag. And then I also am sure to not overbuy because it's quite small, but perfect for picking up something for a few days or just going out shopping if you're hitting the market in an area that you're visiting. Okay, so then I also, warmer weather, I always like to take my, this is the cutest thing, bikini bag. Somebody gave me this, but then inside I've got my bikini, my top, and this just kind of keeps it all together, and it's like a waterproof in, inside bag. All right, got to have your toiletries, of course, and then I'm just kind of tossing these in the back because I'll show you how I roll Tranquility and put it here. This is actually something, too, I'll have with me on the plane, and it's filled with things like really important things like washi tape, markers, Sharpies, the charger for my Kindle, and then also I have in here a little glue stick, which is also kind of handy in case you want to do any art journaling or anything along those lines while you're out and about. And then also this is a great brush pen for practicing hand lettering. So that is, you know, just kind of like my, my little crafty and um, also charger bag. Then I've got, of course, my art journal. So this allows me to capture moments and thoughts as I'm going out and about. And then also to put in postcards, images, things along those lines. So I like this one because it's super portable, great size. Now, of course, you must not forget your passport and your sunglasses. So here is, a, and of course, a hair clip because it's always nice to have the ability to get the hair out of the face. Kindle. This is wonderful because you can have your whole library with you, but just don't forget your charger and don't leave this on the seat pocket of the plane as I did last time I went to Paris. So this is my new one. Um, also a couple books. So I usually will take two books. So for Costa Rica, I'm taking these two. My latest book, A Year of Tranquility, so that I can work within it while I'm out and about. And then also Gloria Steinem's Revolution from Within. What's funny is I actually took this book probably 15 years ago, whenever I was in Costa Rica and did some reading of it while I was there. So I am taking it again. I usually will just allow myself two books and then of course some sort of a journal or sketchbook. And then in addition, I always have the perfume that uh, isn't necessarily my toiletry bag. It's in my handbag, which will be carried on. And then tea and packets of lemon. I always have the earplugs. So I have these with me at all times. So not even just with my toiletry kit that may go through and uh, you know be a checked bag, but also on the airplane. So it's just nice to not have all that background noise. And then I also travel with, I always have these in my bag, a metal straw and then a fork to avoid getting the plastic. 
also like to travel with a candle and a lighter and a water bottle, of course, and slippers. Okay, so these are all the accoutrements that help make travel kind of nice and fluid. So from there, of course, I pack enough underwear for the week. And then two dresses. So this one can be dressed up or down. And this I actually love to wear. It's the slip dress. And I love to wear it with the two-in-one fitted top that I have on over it and then palazzo pants under it. So you'll see this packs quite tiny. So I just fold it and then I roll it. Voila, there's an entire dress. Okay, another dress that I love to take for warmer weather is this sleeveless swing tunic. And this is a great little piece for um, also dressing up and down or layering. So again with this, you can put over a two-in-one top or any of your other kind of layers, or you can wear solo. It's also cute over leggings or, again, those palazzo pants, which I'll show you in a moment, which are just big and flowy and grand. And then from a top's perspective, I tend to pack basically about four or five of these, the two-in-one fitted. And I also added a few extras. So one is this big boxy boyfriend tee, super cute whenever I... I uh, do the little knotting in the front. And I just like this, again, as a layering piece. And sometimes I'll even layer it over my two-in-one fitted, which is nice and long. Okay, so then I've got all of these are two-in-one fitted. So I'm just going to take these and roll them. And I have, I have five of these, plus the one I'm wearing. So rolling those. And then the only other additional top that I'm taking is the off the shoulder. This one's great because it's got the little flare, it's three quarter length, and of course it's just perfect for warmer weather. And then other than that, again, it is all of my two-in-one fitteds. Every day, a nice fresh one. Obsessed with this top. I live in these. So rolling, okay? So I have six tops and two dresses already in the suitcase and it's half full. Okay, so then the next thing I wanted to show is pants. So for the bottoms, all I'm taking is one pair of palazzos. So big, roomy, comfy, super cozy. And in addition, a flare mini skirt, which again, great alone or layered. And then the last thing that I actually have four of is the capri legging that I happen to also be wearing now. Again, part of my uniform, wear it every day. And then these roll nice. So I'll take each of these, roll them. And then the last thing I have here, which is wonderful for travel, and you can actually do both the duster and the long sleeve wrap tunic, or just one or the other. For the plane ride, since I'm gonna be leaving here, it's quite chilly, and I always find airports and planes quite cold, I'll actually be wearing both. So I've got the long sleeve wrap tunic, which can be worn quite a few different ways. Also, one of my favorite ways to wear this is you take it, you knot the ends, And then you twist it, so here you go, you twist it and then pull it up and over. And then you have this nice kind of drapey look. And then of course you can add your duster. So lots and lots of layers. So what's nice about this is you can tell this is a small, this is the smallest suitcase that will fit right up in the overhead. And it has six pairs of pants, six tops, two dresses, and then everything else, of course, will go on the other side. And, you know, it gets me through an entire week of clothing. So I hope this is helpful as you think about packing, using your tranquility, rolling it, rolling clothes always saves room. And what's interesting too, is I probably have more space for about two more items, maybe three actually, that I could fit in here. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I can be found at tranquility.com. So that's tranquility without a Y. We started with t-shirts and 
yoga pants back in 2002. Mm -hmm. So it's tranquility.com. Mm -hmm. And then also, if you sign up for our mailing list, you'll get a packing list as a free downloadable. And then you'll also get all sorts of inside scoop mm -hmm. on what's happening at Tranquility. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm.